after. All right, this is the official start today. It's June 1st, the official start of the 2020 hurricane season. It will go through the end of November. We've already had two named storms before the official start, uh, Arthur and Bertha, and it looks like we'll actually have Cristobal later this week, uh, maybe even over the next day or two as we're starting to uh, see uh, some of the latest information now coming in from the National Hurricane Center. They just uh, updated their tropical outlook. They do that four times a day, and so the, you can see they've updated the uh, percentages and upped them even more. So tropical development is likely uh, with this system as it moves into the uh, the southern Bay of Campeche here, or the southern Gulf of Mexico, and then it will likely drift north uh, through the uh, kind of the middle and end of the week and could approach the central or the western Gulf Coast as we head toward next weekend. Notice we're kind of Sunday, so about a week from now into early next week, and you can see that system kind of approaching Texas and Louisiana. So obviously we'll be watching this very carefully. Uh, this is not exact. This is eight, nine days away, and so uh, certainly that track could shift a little bit, but uh, the idea that it develops and then continues to drift northward toward the weekend. 50s in Coleman right now. We're at 53, 54 in Ganston, 57 in Anniston. We've got some mid 60s there in Alabaster. Humidity is very low this morning and should stay that way through the majority of the day today. I think most spots will be rain free with temperatures climbing into the upper 80s this afternoon and then some low 80s as we head into the evening hours. As we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, though, the humidity really does start to increase, and so we'll start to see our rain chances coming up as well, especially for the middle and end of the week, hotter, more humid, and so that's going to translate into a little better chance for those afternoon thunderstorms. 87 today, close to 90 tomorrow. We'll be near 90 through the end of the week. Again, better chance for afternoon storms later in the week. We'll be watching that system in the Gulf for the weekend. Rick? Oh, as if your life is not crazy enough. Now you got another